Hey guys, welcome back to another Ganshin video. Raiden Shogun Ball is by far the most complicated character ever to be released in Ganshin. In this video, I will try my best to explain her kit in the simplest way possible. If you already have her, this video will provide you a better understanding of Ball and how to utilize her in a better way. For those who hasn't pulled for her because of not knowing how she will benefit your account, hopefully I make it clear in this video to show you what she offers in her kit and to help you decide whether to pull for her or not. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Ball is a very strong burst support. Why do I say so? As a support, she plays four main roles in the team. First as a off-field damage dealer. Second, she buffs her teammates' elemental burst damage. Third, she provides energy recharge to her team. And last, she is also a burst DPS that dish out considerable amount of damage. Let's look at her skills and talents. Her elemental skill is quite straightforward. After casting, you get an eye above your active character. Whenever the active character attacks or deals damage, the eye will perform slashes that deal electro damage. It can also be triggered by off-field skills. During the eye duration, the active character will get elemental burst damage bonus based on the energy cost of the respective burst skills. So at talent level 5, a burst skill of 80 energy cost will get a damage bonus of 20.8% which is a free Noblesse 2 piece set bonus. This skill has basically 100% uptime because the eye lasts for 25 seconds and it only has a 10 seconds cooldown. It is definitely one of the strongest supporting skills in game. Now comes the complicated one, Raiden's Elemental Burst. Feel free to read through this hard written essay. Basically, this skill has started to work even before casting, which refers to the chakra state. When party members accept Ball cast their bursts, the so-called resolved stacks will build up as indicated by the circle of purple light behind the character. So for a 80 energy burst, it will gain 14.4 stacks. Meaning the higher the energy cost for casting the burst skills, the faster the resolve stacks will build up. The maximum resolve stack that we can gain is 60. Another way to gain the stacks is when party members gain elemental particles. But it only occurs every 3 seconds. This resolve stacks are so important because it will determine Raiden's burst damage output. More stacks equal to more damage during her burst. So, when the purple ring is fully light up, that is the time for Ball to pull out her lightning sword from her chest. It deals an initial slash damage and Ball will change into a sword stance for 7 seconds. During this 7 seconds duration, her normal, charged and plunge attacks will be infused by electro damage which cannot be overridden. When Ball hits the enemy, she will regenerate a certain amount of energy for her party members up to 5 times. She will also have increased resistance to interruption and immune to electrocharged reaction damage. In her burst state, all her attacks are considered elemental burst damage which is its benefit and also downside. The benefit is that she can utilize any effects that give elemental burst damage bonus like the Noblesse and Emblem set. But the downside is some skills that require the active character to hit with normal attacks to trigger cannot be used. For example, Vito's burst. So, is Ball strong or weak? It depends how you see her role, whether as a support or a DPS. She definitely shines in between both ends. Ball is the only character in the game that offers huge support capabilities as well as dishing out considerable amount of damage. No other supports that are more versatile than Ball at the moment. They are either very good at supporting, but sucks at dealing damage, or the other way around. It is also the same if you compare her damage to other DPS characters. For sure they are dealing more damage than her. But do they offer the same or better supporting capabilities? Definitely not. In short, Ball is not only a character that supports every members in her team, but also contributes a lot in terms of damage output. So that's about it on Raiden's kit. I did not include guide on her build in this video as it would be another long story. Please leave a like and subscribe to help on the YouTube algorithm for more people to watch this video. If you have any doubt or confusion about anything, feel free to drop a comment below and I will try my best to help. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Peace.